different types of temperature. So the first thing we're going to talk about here today is converting Celsius and Kelvin. So to convert from Celsius to Kelvin, it's really, really, really super duper easy. All you're going to do is you're going to take your starting point, degrees Celsius, and you're going to add 273 to it. Equal your Kelvin. For example, if I have 390 degrees Celsius, how many Kelvins is that? Well, from that we take 390 and we add 273 to it to give us an answer of 663 Kelvin. The next type of problem that we're going to talk and do is converting Kelvin to Celsius. Well, if we added 273 to go from Celsius to Kelvin, what do you think we should probably do with going from Kelvin to Celsius? The exact opposite. You're absolutely right. So, from that, we have 373 Kelvin equal how many Celsius? So, to do this, we take 373 Kelvin, we subtract 273, and we get an answer of 100 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to go going from Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit, to degrees Celsius. So, if we take a look, degrees Celsius, there we go. So, looking at this, the equation is Fahrenheit minus 32 multiplied by 5 divided by 9. Now, when doing this, it is important if you have uh, you know, the good old cheap $1 calculators where uh, you have to plug in stuff, do it parentheses first. So take your Fahrenheit, minus the 32, equal that out, then multiply by 5, hit equal, and then divide by 9. If you have a fancy calculator, parentheses wise, what will happen is you need to parentheses like that before you divide by 9. Otherwise, if you don't, your order of operations are going to be all screwed up and you're going to get the wrong number. So, if I have 72 degrees Fahrenheit, how many degrees? There you go. How many degrees? I got to shut this off. Whoops. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I have 72 degrees. So I plug in my numbers. So I go 72. Multiply by 5, divide by 9. I do my, my operation. So this is end up going to be 40 times 5, divide by 9. And in the end, I get an answer of 22.2 degrees Celsius. Next problem we're going to do is going from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Now here, we take, we put in our degrees Celsius, we multiply by 9, we then divide by 5, and we add 32 to this number. Once again, if you have that old cheap calculator, I can't add go Celsius times 9 plus 32, then divide by 5, because it'll give us a screwed up number. So we have to take, do the parentheses first, then divide by 5, and then once we have that number, then we can then add 32 to it. So if I have 20 degrees Celsius, how many degrees Fahrenheit do I have? Well, we take, plug the numbers, 20 times 9, divided by 5, plus 32. We plug that in the calculator, and in the end, we get an answer of 68. And that's all there is to it. Pretty straightforward. First, you have to figure out what are we going from and to, finding the proper equation, then plugging in the numbers. That 
concludes today's hints. And maybe we can turn it off. Or not.